If you are sick of the office and you want to launch your own solopreneur life, this video is for you. My name is Charles Draven. I'm from a website called InfoSpike. And my whole focus is to help people get financial time and location freedom. Not any business will do that. I built up many different types of businesses since the 90s. And I realized that there's only certain types of businesses that will allow this. Even if you think about people that have very high paying jobs. I'm here in Silicon Valley. I run into lawyers and doctors that are able to have a very good amount of income rolling in every month, every year. And it's awesome for that, but they don't have what I'm going to present today. So first of all, let's talk about flexibility. You could set your own schedule and work from anywhere you prefer. This type of business model will work in just about every country. Why not every country? Well, I travel around the world. I've gone to many different countries. And the only country I've seen that I wasn't able to log into some of my websites was China. So they have some special firewall in the background um, that prevents people from getting freedom to search anything you want on the web. So that's the only place where I didn't have that freedom. But just about anywhere else, I didn't have that problem. I had the freedom to do anything. But uh, flexibility, what I mean is that you can do things on your own terms. And I totally believe that if people didn't have restrictions in their lives, um, and if they were very into self-improvement, that they could actually have a healthier lifestyle. Here's an example of someone who's making a lot of money. My friend's brother, surgeon, cannot even go to the bathroom when he wants. He can't even eat when he wants. When he's working, he has to plan his eating schedules based on his surgeries, and if he has to poop while he's doing surgery, he can't. And if he wants to eat a good meal before he takes a sur goes on uh, into surgery, he can't. So the thing is that that job, being a surgeon, makes a lot of money, but he just doesn't have the freedom and flexibility that I think you would desire instead of being controlled like that. So that's what I mean. Um, independence here. Enjoy the freedom to make decisions that align with your values. Similar to before, but I think having flexibility and independence, uh, not any business will allow that. Here's an example for myself. Uh, one of my businesses that I started in the late 90s was financial consulting. I had to set my schedule based on other people's times. I had to drive to their, pl their place wherever it was, whether it was their job office or their home to discuss their finances with them. Um, pretty much didn't have the time to do things that I wanted to do on my schedule. Everything was based on their schedule. And a lot of people were available, um, especially in the evening and on the weekends, days that and times I wouldn't even want to work. I would prefer to actually go out and do things with my family on the weekend, not go on appointments. So was that a business where people think that they could be their own boss? Yeah, but at the same time, I didn't have that level of flexibility and independence that I wanted. Um, some people I've seen in this business, they say, okay, I'll only do appointments on this day and that works for them. I've seen people be successful with that. I, I knew a guy in San Jose here in Silicon Valley that did that, but that can't be done for everyone. So especially if you have kids, there's a lot of things that creates complexities. So if you're able to build up flexibility in your business, have independence, Again, to do things on your own terms, that just makes life easier. Creative control. When you build a business that you control, you don't have to follow a certain kind of template. Um, for me, I'm not showing you my bedazzled neon setup that so many YouTubers have. Um, I do have some backgrounds like that, but I don't um, think that's that important for me anyways. So I have creative control. I could show you whatever I want. That is my choice. But the whole idea is for me to bring some special value to you. So the whole thing with creative control is that you bring your unique ideas to the table and you don't have to deal with limitations. It is your choice. And so unlimited income potential here. Um, not every business can have this type of potential to have unlimited income. Imagine this, you're selling items for one buck, two bucks, some trinkets. And then your maximum amount of customers that you could talk to in a, a month is 2,000. That means that you make roughly about 2,000 bucks. So 2,000 bucks here in Silicon Valley isn't going to cut it. So you have to build a business that can help you achieve your goals.
especially something that you're in, that you're interested in. For me, I, I help uh, people make money and do things that they want to do and create freedom. So that makes me happy. And so personal growth. Having your own choices, being able to build a business of your dreams, the type of business that helps you accomplish your dreams can lead to personal growth. So as you go on this journey, if you are starting from scratch, you have no knowledge about building a business, going from the very beginning to even making your first $1, your first $100, $500, $1,000, that whole experience is a huge growth experience for you. You only have one life. Why not spend some time where you're growing, making some good money, and learning how to build up that type of flexibility and independence that I know that you want? So for me, this is a very huge personal growth journey. There's a lot of people I know that never thought that this would be a personal growth journey. They just think, oh, I'm just going to go in this and, and make money. But really, um, being able to achieve these major milestones in your life, it actually will help you down the road especially for the people that are in a situation where they feel that technology will take over their job, other people will take over their job, other departments will take over their job, whatever you have, um, if you do have that situation, I believe building these evergreen skills that will help you build business year after year and that you can grow with and be with people and talk to people, which I'll talk about later, to help you achieve that goal even faster. I think that's extremely huge and it's something that can help you grow personally. Work-life balance. Tailor your work environment to better suit your lifestyle and priorities. I know for a fact that most people that work in a job have to wake up at a time that they don't want to. They have to drive and commute when they don't want to. And I believe that doing all these things when they don't want to, it creates some health issues. So for example, um, I'm just thinking about lawyers right now. I know a lot of lawyers, lawyers that have to commute, especially here in Silicon Valley. Some will commute one hour from one hour away. Some even, some of them are even like two hours away. Like I'm here, here in San Jose, people are commu uh, commuting from Berkeley, very, very far. Some people even live closer to Sacramento and they go to San Jose. That's very, very far. But people do that because they can make awesome income as like, let's say as an attorney. And then that's just one way. They got to work long hours because their job demands it. So they come in the office early to, to beat the traffic. Some people might take public transportation too. So they come in the office seven or eight in the morning. And then they leave late to, to beat the traffic, you know, because the earlier they leave, they're in rush hour. So they leave later. And then they get home like maybe about eight or 9 p.m. because they have such a long commute going back. And then they eat, go to sleep, and repeat that cycle five days a week or so. So to me, that's not cool work-life balance. I know those jobs are highly desirable, both doctors and lawyers. I think it's like an Asian parent's dream to have their kids have that kind of job. But to me, um, I'm not saying that you know we don't need them in this world. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying for you, do you want that work-life balance? So that's my thing. Um, do you really want to have that work-life balance? And do you have it? And if not, what are you doing about it? Networking opportunities. I think this is like one of the, the last pieces I'll cover. And then I'll talk about you know the free stuff that you could get. So connect with other entrepreneurs, other like-minded people that will help you on this journey. As you are uh, wanting to become a solopreneur, it's not just about cranking out content in your house and not collaborating, not talking with others. I think everyone in this galaxy needs to have a support network, someone to communicate with, to bounce ideas off of. I think communication with people is extremely important. If you can't do it in person, I think the next uh, situation is to actually do it virtually. And you could do that. You could do it through text. You could do it through video. That's even better. But you have this potential to connect with many, many people that are in a similar situation as you, building the kind of business that you are building. So earlier I talked about the bonuses, getting training, learning AI, especially to build up income streams, um, being able to build up multiple income streams. I have two links in my description. Check them out and you can learn how to do all that and more. So that's all for this video. Thank you for watching.